why is it important to open up about our mental health issues? So, I think it's just important, sort of as a step towards the future, to try and get it more normalised, so it's easier for other people to talk about it. So it's sort of, it's like a chain reaction of people being able to open up, because the more people open up, the more people can help, if you get what I mean. Yeah. I think a part of opening up as well is a part of like helping yourself. Because my brother always used to say to me, like, you're not going to get any better unless you help yourself. Yeah. So I think opening up is like the first step that you need. Yeah, you yeah. definitely need to do that because no one's going to convince you but yourself to exactly. go and get help. Yeah, there shouldn't be a negative stigma around, around opening up. We should just be open and let everyone. Yeah. I was caring for my dad and he was suffering from anxiety. Uh, the mental health issues that I struggle with are depression and anxiety. Um, he got diagnosed with cancer three years ago and two years ago we started noticing the effects of anxiety. Uh, I think I have been suffering with depression since I was about 11 and then uh, I got anxiety about three years ago when I was about 16. What is the worst experience you have had as a result of bad mental health? Um, there was this one time last year when I OD'd on a bunch of sleeping medication and that was a very bad experience because I ended up in the hospital and you know, there was all the anxiety that came after it because I didn't want to be known as that kid who OD'd and then that was, that was a hard time for me. Yeah, um Sort of in the case of my sister as well, um, we went on holiday to Florida and her OCD just completely kicked off because it was in such a small hotel room because the, <laughs> the hotels in Florida are expensive so we had to try and get the smallest one possible and she just completely kicked off and every night was just her having panic attacks and just crying. My family was absolutely affected by everything that happened to me because uh, I think when I was about 13, 14, uh, it came out at school that I was planning to kill myself, so my family had to come in and deal with all of that and it wasn't good for them, but since they knew what was happening with me, it was easier to deal with me, it's just my bad days did used to get really bad. What do you wish people knew about your mental health issue? Just... Um. It's not something that you're just going to get over. Yeah. yeah. It takes it does take a while, whether it's something as short as like an hour or a couple of months. Yeah. I wish people understood the bad days where you just can't do anything. Like depression, it just feels like a big hole that you're just getting dragged into non-stop. Yeah. And then when you're having a bad day, it's so hard to do anything because yeah. you just cannot get out of this hole that you're stuck in. Yeah. yeah. And then your mind goes to really weird places, like, why am I even doing this? What's the point in the grand scheme of things? Yeah. Mm. And I wish, I wish people knew that. I wish people knew that it wasn't just, you know, being sad occasionally. It, yeah. it can be soul-destroying sometimes. Yeah, absolutely.